Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building another community lot and we're actually in Evergreen Harbor and we're building another, I can guess kind of like lot version for the Sprucewood Community Spaces lot in Evergreen Harbor. So this is actually in the conifer station area of the world and we've actually done three kind of like versions of this lot before on the channel this is actually the final version of the lot so all four versions of this lot are all up on the gallery right now if you want to go ahead and download any of them or all of them if you want you know your community spaces lot to kind of match but yeah so in case you don't know what a community spaces lot is i'm gonna explain it really quickly but basically, a community spaces lot is a new lot type that came with The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. And it's a really fun, like, community lot type, actually, because your Sims can influence, you know, what kind of lot it is through gameplay. So your Sims can actually, if they live in this neighborhood, so, like, not in the world, in this actual little, like, smaller neighborhood in the world. So, in Evergreen Harbor, there's three neighborhoods. There's Conifer Station, Port, um, Port Promise, and then also Grimm's Quarry. And each one of those neighborhoods actually has their own community spaces lot. But basically, if your sims live in this neighborhood, they can click on that little, like, community board and they can actually vote for what kind of lot type they want this community space to be. So it has kind of, like, four different versions, very similar to how the auditorium lot works in high school years as well. But yeah, so basically it has a um, community garden version, it has a marketplace version, it has a makerspace version, and then it also has the regular community spaces version, which is kind of like the base for the lot. So that's the, like, I guess, lot that will be here if, you know, your sims haven't voted to turn it into anything else. So that's kind of like the default. But yeah, so... I think about maybe like two weeks ago we did the community spaces version of this lot which I will leave linked on the screen and then months and probably years ago if I'm being honest we did the community garden and the community marketplace versions of this lot. Now all of these lots are in my rebuild evergreen harbor playlist which will also be linked in the description and on the screen. But basically, obviously, these are all for my save file. So, yeah, I actually didn't have all of these versions done for the first release of my save. I believe I only had the garden and, yeah, the garden, the marketplace, and maybe the community spaces. No, I didn't have the community spaces done. So I had the garden and the marketplace done. But, yeah, the other two were kind of, like, left out. But yeah, they're all done now. They will all go in my save. And obviously, when I release the next version of it, you'll get it in that. But if you just want to go ahead onto the gallery, go and download it, place them down yourselves, then you can totally do that as well. Like I said, all of these community spaces lots are up on the gallery. My gallery ID is ChrissyYT. It's always listed in the description. And I'll also have a download link to the gallery website as well. But basically, so the community spaces lot has, like I said, four different versions. And this is the maker space version. Like I said, last one that I had to finish. So yeah, we're doing the maker space today. And the maker space is kind of where your sims can go to create stuff. So with Eco Lifestyle, obviously, we got the new maker aspiration, which means that your sims love like fabricating stuff on the fabricator. They love like candle making and juice fizzing and, you know, all of that kind of stuff that, you know, came with Eco Lifestyle. And the makerspace is centered around that. So there's a lot of different things for your Sims to do. There's all of the kind of like, I guess, craft stations, I'm going to say. So things that your Sims can use to make stuff. So we have a couple of fabricators. I actually split them up into these like 
container type of rooms that are well not rooms but building type things which i kind of wanted to make them look like they were like put up for this particular lot type so they're not like permanent structures so i wanted them to kind of look like they were you know made out of metal maybe they were made like i said they're not permanent structures maybe some of them are containers that have been converted you know stuff like that so we have this one which is kind of like the orangey one that actually has all of the fabricator machines in it so that's where your sims can make like furniture you know stuff like that and then the other one the more grayish white one that's actually where the candle making station and the like juice fizzing station is and i did put down two of each so that you know if one sim is using one of them then you know you have a free one so there's two of those there's actually three fabricators as well and in this little gray building type thing i also put down the recycle machines as well now you'll notice i kind of forgot to mention this but you will have just noticed that i had a little bit of a cut in the video and then all of like the colors and the shadows and stuff look completely different from the f than it did in like the first six minutes of this video and that's because i actually started this build in like 2021 or something so i recorded it like the first part of it with a completely different reshade preset and all of that stuff so yeah this like rest of the video is something that i actually did like i said a couple of weeks ago so i did it with my like current reshade and yeah it looks a little bit different it's a lot less like vibrant i guess a lot less colorful it's still more colorful and vibrant and like saturated than the regular game is but yeah it's a lot less than what my previous one was <laughs> and obviously this also has all of like the extra shadows and stuff like that which i just i love that but yeah, so where was I? I think I was talking about everything that your sims can do, I think. So yeah, this lot also has, you know, obviously, like I said, all of the eco lifestyle stuff. But then it also has a couple of easels up on that second floor, like open space. It has a couple of easels. There's obviously a little like tiny kitchen that you will have just seen me furnish, which is kind of just a space for your sims to come get some snacks if they're here for like quite a while and they get hungry so yeah they can do that i also put down a couple of high chairs up there which i kind of just did for like gameplay purposes because i do put a lot of kids stuff on the first floor of that like main building which is something that i did for all of the lot types there's always you know in these maker spaces or in this one i guess i should say this community spaces this one always has a lot of kids activities and stuff for kids to do as well so you can basically come here with your sims and they can bring their kids and you know they can work and you know make stuff all of that stuff and then the kids can keep themselves busy so there is stuff for kids to do there's a lot of stuff for kids to do there's stuff for toddlers to do and everything like that so yeah that whole first floor basically where the bathrooms are that whole thing is basically like a kid's playroom type thing. So there's like child like chemistry sets, there's like activity tables, there's I think like a dollhouse and a couple of toy chests and I think I also put down like the puppet station or like the puppet theater. So yeah, there's a ton of things for kids to do. But yeah, so upstairs, like I said, we have the easels and then we also have a couple of woodworking benches up there as well. I don't think I put down any flower arranging tables because I believe I put those down in the community garden version of this lot. So I didn't want to put them in this one as well, I don't think. So yeah, we have that. And then the last little space or like area of this build is actually the outdoor kind of like dining seating i guess area with a bunch of like i think there's like two food stalls there's the one that came with eco lifestyle which is it kind of looks like a little tiny like caravan not really caravan but like it kind of looks like it's on wheels and it can move like it can be towed behind a car or something which you know we don't have cars but that's what it looks like and then I actually put down, I think, the coffee station from Discover University. Yeah, I think I put down the Brightchester coffee, like, 
coffee stall type thing from Discover University as well. So there is a couple of things, you know, places like stalls for your Sims to get some food if they're hungry. And I just put down a couple of like picnic tables. And I think, yeah, that's basically it for this build. So I actually just explained like everything about the build in 10 minutes and the video is like 20 minutes long. So I don't really know what I'm going to talk about for the rest of this video. But yeah, I do actually currently have a really, really massive headache, like a migraine type headache, which I probably shouldn't be sat here recording with a headache like this, if I'm being completely honest. And also, I just heard my dog bark, which, yeah, I honestly, I'm just, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm sorry if you guys can hear him barking. I, I don't think you will be able to. But yeah, just apologies if you can. But yeah, like I said, I do have currently a massive headache. So I don't know if I'll like sit and do this whole voiceover. I might like drop out in a couple of minutes and just leave you to finish watching it with some music or something. If you, you guys don't mind. I don't usually do this. I haven't done something like this in years where I don't do a full voiceover. But honestly, my head is so sore right now, like, I physically cannot think straight. So, yeah, I'm just really sorry if I do end up doing that. But, yeah, something else I wanted to mention, because I know not everyone reads my community tab posts. I did mention this yesterday on the community tab, but I know not everyone checks that, because, you know, obviously... But if you guys don't check the community tab regularly, then you kind of should because I do share updates and sneak peeks and stuff like that on the community tab more often than I do in videos. So especially update wise when, you know, a video is going to be late or, you know, I ask for feedback or suggestions or, you know, anything like that. I usually do all of that on the community tab because a lot of the times I'll, for I'll like forget to talk about it in videos or, you know, like ask for suggestions or feedback or stuff like that in videos. So I do all of that on the community tab. I also do it over on Twitter. But my Twitter is a lot more chaotic than the community tab is. So yeah, either way, you know, you know where to find the community tab. And my Twitter is linked in the description if you're not following me already. But basically, I mentioned this on the community tab. In, and that I kind of just mentioned why this video is going up on Sunday, which is, you know, the day, the day that this is going out. Sorry, I cannot speak. But yeah, this is going up on Sunday. So if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, then you'll kind of notice that it is a little bit like, it's kind of like a day late from when I usually upload. So I do try and stick to like a Wednesday and Saturday upload schedule. You know, usually a lot of the, sometimes I'll like upload on a Tuesday if we have like a trailer release or, you know, something like that. But I try and keep to Wednesdays and Saturdays. So yeah, this is going up a day late because I just, I could not, I was supposed to finish this video yesterday. I was supposed to like edit it and take the screenshots and, you know, voice over it, all of that stuff because I already had the footage done. Like I had the build recorded. I'm actually a little bit ahead with recording because I am kind of like pre-recording a couple of things just to have the footage so that I can like edit it and like finish the videos like when I need them and I don't have to worry about like rushing a build so I did ha I like like I said already had the footage and I just needed to finish it and like make it a video and I was supposed to do that yesterday or like earlier in the week but I I just I could not the my week was so hectic last week as well actually the past couple of weeks like the year so far has been very hectic and I just I've constantly been busy. There hasn't been like a single day since the year started that I haven't been like recording or editing or working on channel stuff or busy IRL with like other stuff like family stuff and you know everything like that. So I've just been so busy that I just I couldn't get it done yesterday. I was so tired. I just I physically could not. So I told you guys that I was pushing it because yeah I'm also like 
Anyway, it's basically I'm just like PMSing as well, so it's a whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, I just I wasn't feeling my best. I decided to push it today. And that's why I'm doing it today. And you know, because it's just my luck, obviously now I have this damn headache that I need to work through. So yeah, I've I've had this bloody thing like most of the afternoon. I was hoping it would go away. And it didn't, so yeah, now I'm just sat with it, doing the voiceover and finishing this video up. But yeah, so that's just, yeah, that's annoying and yeah, I just, it's very irritating. And I think a lot of it is because I haven't been sleeping very well because I have been so busy. I've been sleeping maybe between like four to six hours a night, which for me is not a lot. I'm used to sleeping... You know, the past couple of months it's gotten better. The past couple of months I've been sleeping less. And, you know, less in the sense that I'm not sleeping like 12 to 14 hours a night. Which is what I used to do. Usually I would have slept for like 10 to 14 hours every night. Which is so not healthy. <laughs> and I was basically just sleeping more than I was awake. Which, again, not good. But the past couple of months, I've been kind of fixing that. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've been fixing that a little bit. But the past like week or two weeks or so, it's just been, it's been a lot. I've been very busy. I've been like working around load shedding as well. So my schedule is all messed up. And yeah, I just, I haven't been sleeping very much. So I think, yeah, it's just, it's all been a lot. And yeah, the next couple of weeks will probably also be a lot because March is going to be a very busy month for me, you know, both on the channel because obviously we're getting the new expansion pack in March, which I'm very excited about and I have a lot of ideas for that. So obviously that's a lot of work. And then also we have a bunch of like family and friend birthdays in March and yeah, it's just, it's a lot. I'm, I'm so tired and I'm so, yeah, I'm just so tired. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys can hear it, my voice is also starting to go because, yeah, that's a whole thing. I think, again, it's because I'm tired. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this voiceover off here, you guys. We're, we only have about three, like two and a half, three minutes left in the speed build. And then we do have a bunch of screenshots at the end. So if this video is a little bit too fast for you, if you want to follow along a little bit better, or maybe see some of the things in more detail, then definitely stick around till the end for the screenshots. I do also have timestamps on my videos, so you can just go to the description, find the timestamp, jump to it if you just want to see the screenshots. But yeah, so we do have a bunch of screenshots at the end. But yeah, and it is up in the gallery. Also, if you just want to like download it and play with it, then it is up on the gallery. It's completely custom content free because it is for my save file. I did use a bunch of different packs though because it's for my save. So my save isn't pack restricted at all. So when I do builds for my save file, I literally just go and use whatever I feel like using in the moment. So yeah, that is just something to keep in mind because I have gotten a few questions about that, you know, for my save. And yeah, it's not back restricted at all. But yeah, so it is up on the gallery if you want to download it. Like I said, all of that information is in the description along with a gallery download as well. And then obviously the tray files will be going up for channel members. But yeah, that's basically everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you've had a good weekend and a good week and that... You know, your week has been a little bit calmer than mine has. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you in my very next video. Bye everyone.
that you're curious I know that you're strong But life can be furious And things can go wrong You go, you go We're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows If we get joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together, and we might, we might be lost, but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Ridiculous, you're not even close. Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those. We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all. We get a little wiser. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting